Hey, what's going on everyone? Disaster Splitter here and in today's video, we have another unboxing. In today's unboxing, we're going back to the normal stuff and we're unboxing another bay. This is actually my mail from Bays and Bricks. So yeah, I've been waiting for this bay for a while and I'm really excited to open this up. The bay we're going to be unboxing is none other than, oh, okay, I'm struggling. Gatling Dragon. All right, guys, in this video, we finally got Gatling Dragon. I'm really happy to use this bay. Oh, my gosh. I've been waiting for this for so long, and it's really nice to see Dante's bay back. Like, I, I know Dante's not on the box, so it's not the actual blader, but everyone knows Drum is the blader, okay? Sometimes I call him Dante. Sometimes I call him Drum, so you guys are probably going to notice that inconsistency. Here we have laid out all of the parts for Gatling Dragon, so now let's take a look at each part. First, let's start off with the lair. We have the DB Core Dragon and we have the Ring Gatling. And this does actually have a bound gimmick. And as you guys can see, it does have two modes. And honestly, this little wing that sticks out, it kind of reminds me of um, that gimmick Death Scyther used to have, um, Double Strike. That, that's what these remind me of. But yeah, that's Gatling Dragon. Now, let's look at this disc. We have the Karma disc that was originally seen on Guilty Longness, and it's gonna be a little different with a right spin bay, but with left spins, these blades were actually like hitting the opponent, so that was pretty cool. Here we have Charge Metal Dash. So hopefully this bay has really good burst resistance, but it is charge. I I've never really liked this driver. And here we have the D gear. I'm probably gonna replace my S gear with this D gear because I really like the fact that like a gear has the bound gimmick, but I was hoping that we were just gonna get a fifth gear to like put on top of everything else to have a new version of the perfect gear. And here's all our stickers for Gatling. So let's get these put on and do some test battles. You guys, now the camera angle may be a little different, but as you can see, I got all of the stickers on Gatling Dragon and it just looks amazing. This bay definitely did take like a lot of tips from um, Tempest though, cause this looks really similar to Tempest Dragon, but I'm completely okay with that because on terms of looks, Tempest was definitely my favorite. I don't own the bay though. Now I'm going to do some test battles, but before that, let's replace our S gear with the D gear. We're gonna be getting rid of this S gear from Spriggan and putting on the D gear from Dragon. All right, out with shoe, in with drum. Uh, okay, it's not going on. I think this might be upside down. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. All right, okay, I like that. Okay, this does look a lot like the Sting disc actually. Let's do, let's have a comparison. Right, so like I was saying, this um this disc combo that you get for um, Belial, it actually looks a lot like the Sting disc that comes on Ace Dragon. So yeah, these are really similar. Let's get back on topic and put Gatling Dragon together. All right guys, there we go. We have Gatling Dragon all put together. So yeah, this actually looks like a pretty good combo. We have Gatling Dragon, Karma, and Charge Metal. Well, Charge Metal Dash. All right guys, so here, as you can see, just like Savior Valkyrie, we have our bound gimmick. If you look at the disc, that's as far as it goes, then it just goes right back in. Now that we have um, this bay all put together, let's test it out against some other DB bays. But um, now we're back and we're gonna do some test battles. And I just want to say this one more time, Gatling Dragon just looks so nice. It's just, this is a beautiful bay. And this combo, like, the um the, the driver it just complements the rest of the combo so well i just really love this bay it looks amazing but we'll just do three bays the first bay gatling we'll be going up against is going to be dynamite belial with the l gear and the d gear all right three two one go shoot oh the dragon speeds up pretty nice contact from dragon i feel like the movement would be way better if i had um, a db stadium but the best i can do is pro series all right, and it looks like Belial is going to take this one. Yep, Dragon takes the first L. Belial wins. Guys, next bay is going to be right spin Astral Spriggan in balance mode. Three, two, one, go shoot. I wonder if Dragon can burst this bay because Spriggan doesn't have very good burst tolerance because of the driver. Dragon has like no stamina. Wow. All right, guys, so this combo could definitely benefit from a different driver because... It has almost no stamina at all. all right. Next, we'll be doing Dragon versus Inferter. 
This is the only quad drive bay we're gonna be using though, just because um Takara told me didn't make a effort yet. Three, two, one, go shoot. And I don't think anybody really knows if they will. Nice hits from Dragon. Can it burst different? Yes, it can. All right, Gatling Dragon takes his first win. Dragon's next opponent is gonna be Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go shoot. Can Dragon take down Phoenix? I, I don't think it can though because the Universe Driver does have pretty good stamina. Dragon does not. Oh, Dragon, no. Oh, Dragon just cannot get a break. His next opponent is Vanish Fafnir. Three, two, one, shoot. All right. I think Fafnir might win because of the spin absorbing. Okay, I really want to see somebody make a better combo for Gatling Dragon because it has almost no stamina. Like, if it doesn't get an instant knockout, it's kind of just like a metal fight base. It's just at a loss. It looks like Dragon is going down. Oh, wh no way. I was just talking about its stamina and outspun Fafnir. All right, that's another one for Dragon. I said three before, but I changed my mind because I'm having fun. Okay, this is this is gonna be the last bait for real this time. Guilty Longness. Let's see which one of these attack types is actually top tier. Three, two, one, go shoot. What? What? No. Dragon just, Dragon just dominated Guilty. Oh my gosh. Longness is out of there. That's another win for Gatling Dragon. Let's see how many clicks Guilty had. That was... Oh, Guilty was about to burst. Guilty was one click away from bursting. Dragon just took down the Menace. Time for the final battle. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Come on. Oh! Dragon takes the win! Alright, that's gonna be 2-0 to zero for Gatling Dragon. I just had to have a round two because of how insane that battle was. And Dragon won again. I guess Dragon just wins that fight every time. Wow. So Dragon is the winner. That was... I'm just shocked. Alright guys, so as you can see, um, Gatling Dragon did do pretty good. It did take a couple losses, but it pretty much won. It won 3-3, um, three to three, it lost 3-1-3, three, three, so it did pretty decent. It, the bays it lost to were Astral Spriggan, Prominence Phoenix and Dynamite Belial, but it did get some pretty good wins too. It beat Magma Ifriter, Vanish Fafner, and Guilty Longness. It beat some pretty good bays. I mean, I know that Ifrit is not that great of a bay, but it did beat two really good bays. So yeah, I think this is a really good pickup and I highly recommend this bay. But that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. So until next time, I will see you later, bladers.